Alright guys, so welcome back. So in today's video I'm gonna show you can use project files in Vegas Pro and I'm gonna show you the best way to use them. Now why would you buy or even use a project file? Well project files basically show how someone else does something. So for example you buy a yarn project file so then you can basically copy the video and make it the exact same way as yarn or for example buy one of my project files and learn how to over edit in Vegas like me. So yeah, I guess project files are useful and yeah make sure to drop a like because why not and let's Let's begin with the video. Right, so the first project file I'll show you will be a highlight project file and I'm gonna show you can use it I guess. So here's an AP project file, I'm gonna open it up. And once you have it open, if you don't have the media like the clips, the sound effects, the music, then this is what you will see. So you wanna click ignore all missing files and leave them offline, then click OK. And basically once everything, you know, loads up, everything works, you will see the project settings and you will of course see the video. And as you can see it is black and you might be asking yourself, well, how do I actually see the video how do i see what's happening well there's basically i guess one way to view this so it depends who you got the project file from i got it from ap so i'm gonna search this project file on youtube as you can see he put the name yarn proud of you so what i've done is i searched it up on youtube and there we go this is a video edited by yarn and it's basically this project file and you know in this video so we can use this video as a reference so for example let's go to the first impact which is at 14 seconds now if i go to the project file and i follow this timer so as you can see when i move you know the timer increases decreases so let's go to 14 seconds and if i'm over here as you can see this should be the impact because this is like the last clip over here and if I go here, this is the impact as well. So that's how you use the project file and YouTube to understand where you are. Now, let's just say you want to copy the effects and put on your own clips. So I'm going to show you two ways to do this. One way is a cheap way. Uh, what you want to do is basically make a new video track above your media, not above your overlays and all that, just above like the video. Then I guess you drag in a clip that you want. And then since this is the impact, we're going to sync it up to the kill. So just like that, now find where your clips should start. So my clip is supposed to start over here. Make sure to look at the names, because as you can see it says maybe opener and then it says comp1. So you know, most likely the clip starts over here. Anyways, once you have that done, now you want to split where the editor is split. That sounded weird, but listen. Here as you can see is a split, so we're going to split over here. We're going to split over here, then I guess over here. And you're just following where the editor is split. So split everywhere that the editor is split. Just like that. And then make sure the clip ends where it's supposed to end. Over here. So once you have this done. Now you can copy the effects. So let me copy the opacity first. And I'm basically looking at the bottom clip. Then what you can do is copy each section of the cut. So copy this one, paste it on your clip, copy this one, paste it over here. And as you can see, effects are applying. Everything seems to work. So then we have this one over here. Copy, paste, then over here, copy, paste, this one, copy and paste. And finally, this one, the impact, copy and paste. So what we have done here is basically copied all of the effects from the bottom onto our clip and yeah, I guess this is how it looks like. So yeah, of course, a lot of stuff is missing. You will need to add your own music, your own sound effects and your own overlays if the editor hasn't gave them to you. But yeah, this is like the cheap way to do it. But I guess if you have a highlight project file, then it's perfectly fine to do this. Anyways, then we have something a little different. So this is one of my project files. And what I've done basically is I included all of the media and as you can see, a project file. So if you have something like this, make sure all of the media and project file is in the same folder like me. Then you open it up, right? Once you load it up, you still might get some errors, but just make sure to click the last option always and click OK. And of course, once you have it open, you should see everything clearly. So as you can see, everything is in the project file and we can see the video. We can see what's happening. And yeah, as you can see, my project files have a section where I include the files I used before render. So I have a lot of the tunnel transitions, a lot of stuff like this, the UFO thing and stuff like that. So yeah, with these project files, what I recommend doing is just learning from them, seeing what effects are people People using and trying to apply in your videos. So yeah guys that is it with the project file video. Hope you now understand the basics of using a project file and learning from it and if you have any other questions leave them down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.